who are every bit of, you know, danger zone. Danger zone! 27 to 35, when a woman needs to focus like a laser on the outcome she wants as far as relationships. But when you ask women who are in their mid to late 30s, even in their early 40s, who are boss chicks, bad chicks, got my money together, I got my masters. I'm a PhD. Got my masters, but can you cook? I don't need a cookbook. Yeah, they got their PhD and everything else. They don't have a cookbook, but they damn sure do have a dog. All right, what is the one thing you tend to hear? Some sort of, well, I'm doing what I'm doing right now, and I'm in a waiting position. I'm waiting for, you know, God to send that man to me. I'm holding out. So I'm going to go num num yurenga toyo maka boka baba la maka rena. Till that man comes along. Why are so many modern women holding out? What are you holding out for? Whatever it is, ladies, it ain't working. And the net result of it is you become a party of one. Modern woman, party of one. Your table's ready. What do you mean a party of one? A party of one. They become a party of one. Because as your friends who actually decided, you know what, I'm going to be a teacher or an accountant or whatever, I don't, I'm not going to make enough money to pay for my life, my property, my retirement and everything else. I'm not going to be able to fund my retirement. So I'm going to partner with somebody else and we're just going to try to make this thing work. Now, you got so many women who just because they went to college figure that it raises their value, especially this group. I'm a PhD. I had my ladies focus group the other, t the other day and the themes continue to uh, kind of play out. Interesting conversation, interesting questions. But one thing over and over, I'm not going to settle. I became this woman over here, therefore I deserve this man over here. Well, ladies, like I tell every one of you, men don't care about what you have. We care about who you are. And your master's, your PhD, your property, your car, whatever, is not, is not, N-O-T, not what men choose on. But see, here's the problem. Women will continue to talk to each other, hype their head up, blow their head up, let women say, well, girl, you shouldn't wait. You should do this. You should do that. The guy you're with right now, he's a good guy. But you know what? You, you don't, don't settle for him. What happened to that lawyer you were dating three years ago? What happened? You used to could date guys on this level. Why are you going to get with this guy who's a, uh, you know, give him a title, third shift at the plant. Why are you going to get with this guy who's a firefighter when back in college you was pulling this and that? Women judge from the highest man they were ever able to deal with. And deal with means simply this. He showed her some attention. Possibly gave her some sex, and she thought that automatically adjusted her level. That's why I'm starting to see hella five basic chicks. Hella five basic from the way they look. Talking about, I'm not going to settle for a broke man. I want a rich man. I want this lifestyle. And I'm like, you do realize you can set whatever price you want to in the market. That's your choice. But you do realize the market, like YouTube, like Instagram, the market is like YouTube and Instagram. Anybody can get a YouTube channel. Anybody can create an Instagram channel. Anybody can go to YouTube, create a channel, and post content. But that's because you have a YouTube channel don't mean somebody's going to watch it. Don't mean you're going to get a following. Everybody who's watching right now has a YouTube channel or Instagram channel. But every one of you ain't making money on this stuff and it ain't a business or whatever. Why? But this is the market. So women think because they can create a YouTube channel or an Instagram channel because they can be in the market, they can determine they can have success in the market. The market lets anybody in. But the market gets to decide what success is. So all these women talking about they're going to hold out this and that, they cannot produce the outcome they say they want, and they don't want to settle for lower, so they're just going to hold out and wait. Party of one? Sad chick, party of one. 
Ebony the Attorney, Party of One. Marshall the Marketer, Party of One. Nancy the Nurse, Party of One. Or the PhD or the Doctor. Hey, Rita the Realtor, Party of One. Christine the Creative, Party of One. Erica the Entrepreneur, Party of One. Party of One. And one thing you're going to recognize is all these Party of One women share one thing in common. They share one thing in common for sure. One of the, one, you've heard of the seven deadly sins? I'm going to start talking about the seven deadly sins, for the seven deadly curses for modern women. And one of them is a lack of humility. A lack of humility. Modern women, most modern women are too impressed with themselves. That's why you could have a chick who's every bit of a five on a good day talk about, I'm a 10 because I got confidence. I'm a 10 because of this. I'm a 10 because of that. Then you turn around and ask, uh, is there any room for improvement? Is there any room? Are you perfect? No. All right. Well, how can you be a five, have five outcomes? You ain't never had nobody pay your rent, much less, nobody even bought you a tank of gas in your life, much less pay your rent. And you talk about, I'm holding out because I got, I'm a 10 and such and so forth. Okay. How that going to happen? Because today, women are too impressed with themselves. Y'all all think y'all special. You all think y'all think you're special. You think you're you're the sugar honey iced tea. And you tend to hear these terms. You know, uh, women because they can because they can pay because they can do adult things. I pay my rent. I pay my car note. I pay my food. I buy my shoes. Congratulations, you're a functioning damn adult. But women want credit for that, like it's big, like it's something. So they, because they're a functioning adult, they want credit for that because they went to school. I'm a PhD. Nobody cares about your PhD. And I hear this bullshit about women are outpacing men in college and they're, especially black women. Yeah, let them say whatever they want to. Ask them what their net worth is. Most have a negative net worth. Because they got, they got their master's, their PhD, they're making, the one that's making $100,000, yeah, but, you, uh, but how much student loan debt in, how much is your household debt, what's your consumer debt, negative net worth means your social, the things you want credit for ain't working. And why is this so important? Because today, women have far, far too many women uh, are too impressed with themselves. Other than that, why do you think a woman who is an average looking, uh, below average physicality, below average weight, can sit around talking about they're going to hold out. Or wait, what are you waiting for? The answer is what many are waiting for is a sucker. They're waiting for somebody to go, to go ahead and say, you know what? Even though you got 200,000 miles on you and had a couple of wrecks, I'm going to go ahead and pay brand new prices for it. Here's some of the attributes of an overly impressed party of one. They say things like, not all women are like that. They say things like, well, I don't know about that. I can't speak for that. But I know for me and mine, yet you're single as French toast. Because you haven't spoken to everyone on a particular subject, you can't speak about it. Because until you talk to everyone and get everyone's opinion, it's not valid. They want the maximum amount of options with the minimum amount of restrictions. Invariably, they are hyper-individualistic, which turns into this deification, almost this queen energy, to where they want a man to come along and to exalt them. And how does this show up? And I'm going to open to Instagram. It shows up in women holding on, holding out, wanting a man to come into their life, to partner with them, to maintain at least maintain, but they really want a man to come in and elevate their lifestyle. So, the question becomes, all right, 
then what kind of woman can ask for these things? Are, is the average woman, the woman that's in the 50 to 60, the 50 percent, is that something the average woman can ask for? Well, here's how women are answered. Well, she can ask for it. See, women are doing this bifurcation thing today, guys, and I want you to pay attention. They're playing semantics. Well, she could ask for it. Yeah, you could ask your mama for a cookie before dinner, but that don't mean you get it, right? I want you to understand how women, how, how so many women, they'll play these games. They'll start talking about, and when they can't, they get in the corner, they start making up scenarios. Well, what if this probability happens? And at the end of the day, ladies, it doesn't serve you or anybody. It doesn't serve women well because you're becoming a party of one. Open, uh, open Instagram in just a second because here's the reality. Many women are jealous of men. Jealous of men's ability to maintain, to be in the market and actually get women. If a man, a man can, as long as the man is productive, competitive, Productive and competitive, he can pull a woman in the marketplace regardless of age. Productive, competitive, successful men. Shout out to Theo Waff. You can hold out for a dog or a PhD, ladies. Uh, yet a normal, humble man will make a, a loving family. Uh, uh, yet a, a normal, loving man will make a family with you. Huh? Here's the thing. Theo, I actually referred somebody the other day uh, to the... To, 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 the things you're teaching. But here's the thing. He mentioned humble. Gentlemen, you're looking for a woman who brings peace and she has humility. There are plenty of attractive women who have humility. But they're not overly impressed with themselves. If you're dealing with a woman who's overly impressed with herself, don't waste your time. That's an uphill battle. And Women who talk like this, well, why can a man exercise options and you can't?